What's up, you guys? It's Paul here from the 9 to 5 Investors Club channel here. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about the main stocks that I'm watching and are potential buys right now if Joe Biden ends up winning the elections, okay? As of now, Joe Biden seems to be leading. He has 264 electoral votes compared to 214 for Trump, and he just needs six more to, to be able to win the elections. So if we still have to see who who knows what's going to happen last minute. If there's some kind of a fraud uh, allegations by Trump or if they're asking for a recount, you it's till it's really out we cannot be sure but definitely as of now it looks like biden could potentially become the president and so irrespective of who the president is i think you need to pick specific stocks that can potentially benefit from each person's policies and so irrespective of who you support i think when it comes to an investing perspective you need to have that ideology uh, with, with regards to how you pick stocks okay so as of now you know trump is leading but the interesting thing to watch too is the Senate, the Republican Party, still seems to be leading. They're very, very close to getting the 51 majority. For the House, the Democratic Party is leading for it. And the reason it's good to have the Republican Party in the Senate is the biggest issue people have with Biden is that he may raise taxes a lot. Kamala Harris's tax plans are even higher than Biden himself. And so a lot of people would be concerned with how much taxes can be raised. And that will impact individuals' income. That will impact corporate profits because it it instantly takes off their profit margins which has been helping them up a lot lately so definitely some kind of a, a pushback against them to raise taxes can definitely be a good sign uh, going forward okay so even if they decide to raise taxes maybe they may not be able to raise it all the way as as they as much as they really want to if the senate disagrees uh, but definitely that's going to be something to watch okay so depending on uh, if if Biden does become the president, the main sectors that I'm watching that can benefit from his policies are electric vehicles and renewable source of energy because he has a big push for renewable source of energy and away from oil, for example. Secondly, they're more fiscally uh, lenient, I would say. So there's a good chance that the stimulus could pass through if Biden does become the president. And uh, the trade tensions with China may not be as severe and uh, in a scary or volatile that, like it's been with Trump. So any companies that do rely on some kind of a partnership with China could also benefit from it. And also, if the sim stimulus does pass through, there's a good chance that there could be more inflation. And so uh, gold stocks could potentially benefit from that as well, okay? So from an electric vehicles perspective, obviously my top choice is Tesla. Tesla has been trading in a pretty narrow channel lately. They need some kind of a stimulus to be able to spike. Even the earnings didn't really do it, even though they were amazing. And so I'm looking for some kind of a catalyst here for Tesla to spike back up. Either uh, right now they're, you know, they just tested the 50 day moving average today around 420. And they have been trading in this narrow Bollinger band that you can see here. So I'm definitely watching Tesla. It's already the biggest position in my portfolio. It's nearly 8%. So if, if possible, I may add a little more to it, but Tesla is definitely on the top of my list. And uh, a couple more electric vehicle stocks that you could watch are potentially Fisker or Workhorse and uh, Lordstown Motors, NEO, of course, NEO has been on an absolute tear. So those are all the different electric vehicle or uh, non-gas powered uh, vehicles, uh, vehicle companies that I would take advantage of, okay? Well, the second thing is renewable source of energy. My favorite ETF that I've always recommended for renewables is, is TAN, which is Guggenheim Solar ETF. This ETF has been on an absolute tear. I could show it to you in my portfolio. So I own shares in a separate account, but in this particular account, I mainly have uh, just call options. So I have 15 of them. Uh, they've been doing pretty well. They've actually pulled back quite a bit. If you see in the pretty in in the last one, one but they've pretty much done nothing. You know, they're just flat. But thing is, they had a huge run up up to the beginning of October and since then they've kind of stayed flat so I think they, they need some kind of a catalyst as well to really start a uh, spike back up and if Biden does become president and he starts pushing more for renewable source of energy that could be the catalyst for solar stocks to go up okay now irrespective of who the president is in my opinion there is a bigger push to renewable sources of energy and there have already been a lot of reports from energy magazines and I, I myself work in the energy industry so there is uh, there is this overall outlook that we are going to move more towards renewables with the leading energy source being solar stocks, especially by 2025 and 2030, okay? So I'm definitely super bullish on this ETF-10 and, and uh, that's what I have calls on. 
Now, under under solar ETFs, obviously, you can look at other leading uh, solar stocks like you have Enphase Energy. Enphase also has been on an absolute ride. They're up 460% for the year. Solar Edge, uh, they did not have the best earnings recently, and they pulled back on the guidance, which is why we saw this massive drop here. But in my opinion, if you're thinking a few years down the line, this is a great time to actually put uh, bring, uh, buy some shares. Uh, you also have First Solar. First Solar also has been doing really well. Uh, they're up 28% for the last three months, 51% for the last year. Definitely not as great as... Uh, uh end phase or solar edge but definitely something you could put on your watch list you also have sunrun sunrun has been doing pretty well too 30 percent over the last three months 246 percent for the past year they're actually down a pretty decent amount from the all-time highs which is 80 uh, and so sunrun and solar edge was, are what actually pulled down the etf 10 but definitely if you want to if you don't want to really go with the guesswork of which solar stock is really going to pop just go with the etf 10 that's definitely what i'm most bullish on and i'm pretty pretty sure that they're going to do exceptionally well over the next couple of years okay in terms of other uh, renewable source of energy you also have plug power plug power uh, was ripping recently they're up 11.7 percent over the last one week and if you look at it over the last one year they're up 489 percent so any hydrogen related stocks like plug power or ballot power systems are definitely going to do well so i'm keeping an eye out for those i had calls on them which i sold out of not too long ago so i don't have any shares or calls as of now but plug power can definitely benefit from there and finally you have uh, gold stocks you could either go with a, a gold miner etf this is a uh, etfs are the best way to go with gold in my opinion obviously they've been pretty flat they're pretty slow moving but if there's another stimulus check this they could potentially benefit from there you have gdx which is the gold miners uh, if you want to go with just a stock, for example, you have Barrick Gold, which was what Warren Buffett was buying into. Uh, you also have Newmont Corporation here. Uh, they are also a gold miner stock that can potentially do well. So these are the main stocks that I'm watching, guys. It's go by the sectors which can benefit from his policies. Electric vehicles, you have uh, renewable sources of energy, you have gold miners. And these are the main benefactors that I'm watching out for. Oh, and one more stock is Fastly. One of the main reasons Fastly dropped dropped like a rock from all-time highs. Uh, this was a crazy drop. They were all dropped all the way from 133 to $71 in just the last what less than a month. So that was an insane drop. And the main reason for that is because of the dependency on TikTok. And that's because you know our government was trying to block TikTok in the US. Now if Biden is more lenient towards the uh, Chinese companies and he lets TikTok stick around and Fastly can continue their relationship with TikTok. There is a good chance they can pick back up. They did do pretty well today, up 3%. And in the last one week, all the way from the bottom at least, they did shoot back up a pretty decent amount. So I'm really hoping for a recovery here. Even I have 50 shares of it right now. And I have a couple of calls for January as well. So definitely watching Fastly as well to see if there's uh, any good news related to TikTok. But uh, those are the main stocks that I'm watching, guys. I hope that helps you out. If you did, please just smash that like button. Leave a comment below if you want to share your thoughts and provide any other companies that you think would benefit from Biden winning the presidency. And uh, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, okay? Be sure to also look at the link for Discord, guys. The group is growing really fast. Uh, the whole group is making a lot of profits on great trade alerts. A lot of people are helping each other out. I absolutely love seeing that as well. So be sure to join the group, be part of the community, and I'd love to see you there, okay? Thanks again for watching, and until next time.